If you watched my recent Timu video, I got these jeans that did not fit, but I really like this pattern and I've been wanting a leopard print bag or cheetah print, I don't know what the difference is. Anyway, I've been wanting a bag in this pattern and every time I find one, I'm not super happy with the pattern or the material that it's in, but I really like how this looks. So I'm gonna try to make this into a bag. Okay, so I think it would be cool to just keep the pockets, the front and back pockets. That way my bag has pockets. Okay, and then I guess I'll just stitch the legs up like here. Should I include the legs? Should it have little legs? Or should it be... I think it might be, I don't know. It, I feel like it would be easier to like sew off the legs like that. Or maybe sew them off in a straight line. I guess we could try to give it little legs. That might be easier. Let's do like Daisy Dukes. That look even. Well, if it's not, we'll just change it. And I should be using fabric scissors, but once again, I am lazy, so I'm not going to go to the store and buy fabric scissors. Which was working out for me until right now. Okay, there we go. Let's see how much I've got this. Oh, okay. Pretty good. Perhaps a little longer on that side where I didn't trim it all the way to the line, but I think that's close enough for me. I'm gonna do them this direction. That way I can hopefully easily pull them out when I come up to them with the needle because I found my sewing machine in Nana's garage. So happy I still have it. I'm so terrible at a sewing machine so this might come out really bad. We'll find out together. Oh, I gotta go let juice in. Come on. Stay out of the needles. Oh gosh, and you just immediately walk right into them. Okay, good.
Okay, so I don't know if you could tell while I was sewing, but I got really close to the edge right here. So hopefully, I went over it a few times, so hopefully it won't come undone because I got it so close to the edge. But let's see what I've done. about that little knobby. Yeah, just push it back inside. Yeah, I think that's better. I got the little knobby poking out. Okay. Now I need to put a strap on it. Also, I was thinking it might be cute to like leave the fly down. Maybe. Figure it out once I get a strap on it. So I'm hoping I can just use one of these legs to make the strap. I put it over my shoulder and it seems like it'll be just long enough. But then is that straight? Okay, hopefully that won't be too skinny. Hopefully that's close enough. 
I'm going to do it this way, so I only have to do one line instead of two, since I'm not the best at sewing. That we already have one professionally finished edge to work with. Little look at. Close enough. I think I did it. Yay! Look at that. Huzzah! So it's got a little curve to it, so I want this to be the front, so I'm going to put it this way so that it holds on my shoulder better, I think. Okay, good. The black thread's not super noticeable. I was worried about that. I'm surprised how well made these jeans are, considering they were $10 from Timu. Because their stitching is a lot better than mine. <laughs> I guess that shouldn't surprise me. Well, this has been the most pleasant experience I've ever had on a sewing machine. 
Okay, it's the moment of truth. Let's see what I've done. So here's how she's looking. That's the back. Let's see how she, oh, she fits. And this is a huge tote bag. If you had a smaller pair of jeans, then yours would obviously be smaller than mine, but I'm six foot three and 185 pounds. So these were a, a men's 34, I think, but they were tight on me, so they're more like a 33. So I'm super happy with how it came out. Sorry, I had to change shirts. I got hot, but I'm so happy with this. I've always wanted a leopard or a cheetah print bag, and I love that it already has a bunch of pockets built in. It's got like a little lighter pocket here, and it's got these little back pockets. You can stick your phone in. Let's see. Let's put some of my stuff on it. Put my new little devil charm on here. Let's see. Oh, and you can use these things to put charms on. Love it. And I've got my little pouch voyage, which I'll probably clip on this one too. Put my headphones. I need to go in this pocket. Got my car keys. I'm not even gonna have to put anything inside the bag. Use all the pockets. Got my passport holder Maria Louise Loves Luxuries gave me. Fit in this back pocket. And my wallet can fit in the other back pocket. And then I've got this little pouch that I keep my dental flossers in. Clip that to one of these little belt loops. And then I've just got, oh, I need to give Nana her car keys back. And I've got a Chanel mirror. I've already used all the pockets. That's all my stuff. And that's all my stuff fit in the pockets of the pants. I literally still have this whole huge compartment inside. I could probably put a whole winter coat in there. Okay, so here's how it came out. I'm so happy with it. There's plenty of room. It's got plenty of room on my shoulder, which when I was measuring it, or when I just had the leg of the pants over my shoulder it seemed like it was going to be a little too short but it just came out perfect it's gigantic it fits so well on me and i love how it looks and this only cost me ten dollars and it took like an hour and 20 minutes to make and film which you know everything takes longer if you film it so Probably less than an hour if I wasn't filming. You could button that up if you want to. I like it open. I am so pleased with this. I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video if you want to see it. I'm so happy how this came out. Bye.